No long intro, just straight to the topics. To farm mana orbs and tickets easily, you just have to catch the fish in the respective area and sell them. That way you get mana orbs without selling your mana and waiting for it to replenish. And tickets without having to wait days for the crops to grow and the quest board to reset. You can also just click exit game in the menu to get back to your house fast and sell them there. Now for the fish altars. What I realized in the time that I've been fishing is the fact that if you have more than one water body in a screen that is able to spawn fish, you have to run around and look where the fish spawned, since there is a max capacity of fish to spawn. So at the farm for example, you have the river, the pond and the beach. In this video I am going to show you the best places for the altar fish. Let's start with the beach. The place next to the old man is the best place since you can just throw the fishing rod at maximum distance and every fish will eventually swim to it. Here you can catch the crab, the sea bus and the golden carp. The next place is the forest before the Nelvari forest starts. Kill the enemy on the left side of the bridge and stand near the bottom. That way the monster is going to ignore you once it's respawned. At this point it's the same as the beach. The fish will eventually come to you, so no need to go around. Here you can catch the goldfish, dorado and the chroma fin. Now just continue to the Nelvari forest, the fish will spawn above the first stone plate. Here you can catch the flame fish and the sky ray. The Nelvari village is tricky since there is such a huge place to fish. But if you go past the quest board, you'll find a mushroom to jump on and continue to the right side. Here's just one small pond where you can catch the crystal tetra. Watergate is the easiest place to catch fish. You just go to the right side since for some reason fish don't spawn on the left side. And the last three altar fish can be caught here. Them being the bone mouth bus, duorado, and Permade. And that's all for now. If you want more videos like this, just let me know. I hope you have fun with your journey through the world of Sunhaven. Bye bye!